Minnesota Hello, this is Soderson, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Steve, that is the subject. They depend on the beach to attract tourists to make a living. And they are losing their livelihoods all because of this bird. The bird is endangered, evidently, and the government has closed down the parts of beach. Uh, and since then, 50 businesses have closed. 400 homes have been foreclosed. Is this fair? Joining us right now is the local business owner affected directly, John Couch. John, what business do you have, and how have you been affected? Um, my business is called the Red Drum. We have an auto parts store, a uh, repair center, a tackle shop, and a food mart. Uh, these closures have absolutely stifled my business during the summertime, and typically I lose about $30,000 because of oh, these uh, buffer zones that are so restrictive and it pretty well closes off the beach and makes it hard for our visitors that come here to find out right. what is open on a daily basis. It's all because of this bird, which seems nice. It's called the piping plover. Uh, about 20 of them, and evidently they're endangered, but are they at the point now where they're more important than all the small business people who have thrived there for decades? Uh, well, uh, Protecting the environment and protecting these birds are important. We can all grab our right. hands and, and wrap around this, but uh, these, uh, uh, these birds there, they have such mammoth uh, protections. If this can be the bird nest a thousand meters in all directions, which is a mile and a quarter across, closes down the beach, and it, there's only about six to 12 pairs of these birds, but as the, the birds, these uh, nesting areas, they just choke off access, and then for the beach during the, the heart of the summertime right. when we make our money, uh, we're sitting there uh, not being able to, uh, right. uh, to make a living in the summertime. John, it's absolutely beautiful there. It's one of the foremost vacation spots in the country, and now it could be just left to the birds or maybe some turtles that want to nest. Here's the statement from the Audubon Society, uh, from the Environmental Law Center. They say this, the consent decree does not directly close any beaches. Uh, to or use by may or may require uh, that beaches be closed or use if threatened piping plovers or other targeted sh uh, shore birds are attempted to nest in the area. All bird species appear to be benefiting from the lack of disturbances increasing in numbers and fledgering more chicks. So the birds are beginning to thrive because you guys are, your businesses are going up in flames. Well, uh, I take exception to what the uh, Southern Environmental Law Center and Audubon are saying. What has happened here, we've had a slight increase of bird nesting results, but that was because of two main reasons, and one is is that birds are doing well all across uh, the eastern seaboard, and secondly, we have had the, the calmest waters uh, we've ever had, according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Research Facility right. in uh, Duck, North Carolina. We didn't have any tropical storms, we didn't have any hurricanes, we didn't have any big uh, thunderstorms, and so... Uh, that has a lot to do with it. And finally, that has John, a lot to do with basically it, Basically, yes. you're willing to talk about this, but there's a way for both of you to coexist, but there's been no reach out on the other side. So until that happens, uh, this is unfortunately looks very bad for you guys. That's why we want to shed some light on and bring, see if we can bring some sanity to it. Uh, John Couch, best of luck. Thank you very much. All right, uh, and thanks so much for joining us. Merry Christmas.